When you feel broken inside, when the pain seems too much to bear, you got to remind yourself that this might be a page in your life, this might be a chapter in your life, but it is not the whole book. This is not your whole story. Every battle, every scar is preparing you for something bigger, something greater. There are going to be times that try your heart so severely that everything in you wants to quit. Everything in you wants to collapse. Everything in you wants to go down. Everything in you wants to go crazy. You're in the midst of a storm, and it is what you do when you are alone in that dark place that determines how much you really learn from life. The ultimate measure of a person is not where they stand in moments of comfort and convenience, but where they stand in times of challenge and controversy, when all hell is breaking loose. That's where we find out what you are really made of. When life throws its punches, when you're on the ground gasping for air, I need you to remember that it's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take it and keep moving forward. You're not a victim. Stop acting like one. You're a warrior. You shape your own destiny. In the furnace of your struggles, in the heat of your pain, you are being forged into a beast. You become unstoppable by being broken over and over and over by life. You get to the point where you've been hurt so much that you know what the worst pain is like and you can handle it every single time. Don't see your pain as a barrier. See it as a building block. Every moment of suffering, every time you break down, it is adding to your strength, adding to your resilience. The more you go through, the more you grow through. It is preparing you for greater battles, which lead to greater victories. An oak tree becomes strong under pressure, under the forces of nature, and you become stronger under the pressures of life. The things that break you are the very things that make you unbreakable. They are the fire that tempers your spirit, the hammer that shapes your resolve. In this process of being broken and rebuilt, you'll find a version of yourself that you never knew existed. A version of you that is not just surviving, but that's thriving. A version of you that doesn't run from challenges like most people do, but instead steps toward them and says, bring it on. That version of you knows that every setback is a setup for a comeback. We all feel broken inside at times. That's a part of being a human being. But the difference is, do you give up or do you get up? Do you give in to the pain and the hardship or do you decide? I will not allow that. You need to decide right now that I am bigger than this. I can get through this. I'm coming back from this and I will be better because of it. When you feel broken inside, when the pain seems too much to bear, you got to remind yourself that this might be a page in your life, this might be a chapter in your life, but it is not the whole book. This is not your whole story. Every battle, every scar is preparing you for something bigger, something greater. You're not defined by what breaks you. You're defined by how you rebuild yourself. So stand tall, even if you're standing on broken pieces, and tell yourself that no matter how hard things are or how hard things get, I will never give up. I'm not done yet. I'll come back stronger. Whatever you do, don't lose your head. Pull your feelings out of it. Pull your insecurities out of it, your vulnerabilities, and stand on what you know. Yes, the road's been bumpy. Yes, the road's been tough. Yes, the road's been difficult. Yes, you've shed some tears. And yes, you've endured some pain. But it is the bumpy road to better. You can't get to better without bumpy. You can't get to better without pain. You can't get to better without tears. There is no pill you can take. There is no simple solution. It is the bumpiness of the road that leads you to better. Whatever you're going through right now, it's happening on purpose. It is happening in order to forge you into the person that you were created to be. But if you quit, if you let the darkness, you let the pain, you let the agony win, 
You will never get to be that person. The people who make it through the hardest times in life and come out better because of it are the people who are willing to look at the problems and issues in front of them, assess the situation, take responsibility for fixing it, and come up with solutions to solve them. Your pain is not the end, it's the beginning of a new you. A you that's tougher, wiser, and unstoppable. So when you're broken, remember, it's just a universe thing. It's time to build the best version of you. Embrace it, fight through it, and emerge victorious. Because what doesn't kill you, truly does make you stronger. It doesn't mean that you'll always get it right, you'll fail over and over and over again. More times than you can count. What it does mean though, is that when things don't work out, when you fall flat on your face and you're embarrassed and you feel like breaking down crying and everything goes wrong, you pick yourself up, you get yourself back on track, you wipe away your tears and forget about all the mistakes you've made and you find a way to move forward. Is it easy? Absolutely not. It takes everything in you to do this. Your internal voice will be telling you to stop, to give up. So you got to force your mind and your feelings to cooperate with the goals you set in motion. Staying focused on making a way for this thing to work, come hell or high water. If you keep that mindset locked in your brain and don't allow outside forces to mess with you and your goals, you will find a way to win. We all think about quitting when it's hard. It's hard to process information during pain because that pain takes over and you can't think rationally. You're thinking about fight or flight, save yourself. That's not a rational thought. It's not a thought that's going to get you through hard times. When you quit, your mind says we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. You will not find toughness in a comfortable environment. The only way you find it is to drown yourself in a position where you're just out of sorts, where you can't swim and you're drowning. You're drowning in life. You're now in like, I gotta get out of here. You're in fight or flight. It's cold, I can't be cold this long. And then this is where that one second decision comes in. You forgot every reason why you wanted to be there. All you wanna do is go back home you want the warmth, you may want something to eat. All those things of comfort are there in that one second. What you have to do in that one second is say, you know what, ma'am? Dad, I'm going to figure out how to fucking backstroke or something. It's about gaining control of your mind, putting things back in the proper perspective, and then saying, I really do want to be here, and I'm going to have a bunch of these one seconds, and I have to learn to control these. Because if I fail one of these one seconds, I will not be a doctor, I will not be a lawyer, I will not be whatever the fuck it is. When you say, fuck you, this sucks, I'm drowning, I'm miserable, I'm suffering, I'm broken, but I'm not going anywhere. What happens to your mind, it says, fuck. he's not leaving. So we gotta expand, we gotta grow, we gotta figure this fucking thing out. These compartments in your brain, they have to work. And then you start to engage parts of your mind that you never engaged before. When you're in suffer mode and you say, I'm not gonna quit, you're forcing your brain now to operate on a level it's not used to, but then it becomes used to it. If you wanna take the fucking island, burn the fucking boats. When you burn the boats, you tap into a level of drive, determination, and courage that you may have never experienced before. You become unfucking stoppable. If you're tired of starting over, stop quitting! If your life at times feels like, looks like labor, you are doing it right! Keep on pushing. I'm telling you what, there is breakthrough coming, and when you're holding your prize, the pain and the suffering will pale in comparison. Don't give up! It will be worth it! Life is 10% what happens to you, 90% how you react. And I'm telling you, the way to ignite the dream is you gotta shut out every single thing and you gotta believe I am the greatest. If you're willing to fight your way through, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through that divorce, fight your way through whatever comes up against you on the other side is a better life. Don't let this negative world get to you. Don't let it win. You gotta have your back against the wall and give yourself no way out. Because when it's do or die, you'll find a way to do it. 
And I'm saying to you, what if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's just something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. When people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life, you knew it was hard, but you did it hard. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger.